All right, guys, so I did a review on this jacket the other day, third year, three year review. Um, and Josh just picked up the uh, a sort of a comparable jacket. It's a striker uh, climate jacket. So I figured we'd kind of show you guys the differences. They're pretty similar, but they're like a they're pretty competitive in price. They're both around this one. The one I have is the uh, Ice Armor Ascensu. It's uh, 230 ish dollars, and Josh's is the Climate by Striker, and it's about 200 and what would you say 70, 70 270 dollars. Yeah, mm -hmm. So they're both float suits. They both have the float assist. Uh, I think they call it the Sure Float. I think I said it on your yeah Sure Float technology. Is what Striker calls it, and Clam is just the float mm -hmm. assist. Um, but they're pretty similar, so I'll just kind of show you guys. If you're looking for a float jacket, you can uh, kind of tell the difference between the two. So they both have pretty big pockets on the front. They're basically the same size. They look pretty similar. Both Velcro closures. Of course, I did have to replace the Velcro on my clam because it just kind of wore out. Josh's is pretty new, so we don't know how that's going to last. But it yeah, looks they're pretty thin. It's pretty thin but... Velcro there. It's. <laughs> really thin but it's at least it's mm -hmm. longer like mine is so short that it just ripped right out but so, yeah they side both have pockets. side pockets and they're both fleece lined so if you're um not, don't wear gloves yep yeah, if you're not wearing gloves <laughs> and you want to just keep your hands warm for a little while you stick them right in there nice and soft um they both have uh chest pockets with like a waterproof type uh, zipper. Yep. They both have pit zips. They're a little bit different on mine. Mine goes straight down like this. Mine come across. His are down across. They probably both do the same. Yep, they the both venture out. They both have reflective uh, material on there. Mine's up here. Josh says it on the arms. They both have magnetic. They both have a magnetic closure on the front. Closure. So um, instead of having you know buttons that are hard to, to button up with your gloves and stuff, you just flip the thing over and it locks in. Josh's is it's exactly the same. I have this little extra pocket right here. Oh yeah, he's got a flap. He's got a little hidden pocket there. A hidden pocket. Um, let's see. What else for the outside? Oh, the hoods. Uh, the the hoods, hoods are, are similar. Different. They both are removable. Um, Josh's. The, a lot of the striker jackets actually have like a a wire, like a plastic wire that runs along the ridge of the hood to keep it from collapsing on you, which is actually pretty nice. I had that in my old jacket. This one kind of just hangs little, there dovetail on the front yeah though. it's got like a little beak on it so i don't know if that's good or bad or not but i like it um josh's hood actually has flaps that wrap around your face there um this one doesn't but you can still kind of just zip yeah. it all the way up Do they both have drawstrings at the bottom yep they both have the drawstrings at the bottom and at the waist right at the waist. so you can adjust that and they both have some just random D rings D hanging rings. around. To they got a couple extra on the bottom, I, bottom oh, yep. I think, but probably for snow feeling. Yeah, yeah. So you can hook your kill switch cord, yeah, your tether. Uh, tether cord, to those on on that jacket. But we use like these to hook your gear to, and we put like yeah. our sinkers and sounder weights on Nip those nippers. And yeah, nippers and all kinds of other tools. Um, the insides are almost exactly no, identical. Pretty much identical. It's like almost a carbon copy of them. It's like these jackets are really, really alike. Yeah. They've got big long pockets in the bottom, cell phone pocket up above. Josh has it over here. I saw a little cell phone pocket there. Cell phone there. pocket, mesh pocket. And that's pretty much it. Um, Josh's, so they both actually come with a, a liner on the inside. Mine I don't have with me today because I don't actually use it. But Josh has his on. I will admit, his is 10 times better than the one that came with this jacket. He can actually go out, like wear that out to dinner or something. Like it's nice. <laughs> Mine looks like yeah. it's just a, uh, I don't know. It's like just, a fleece. Kind yeah, of. It's just a straight fleece, Not nothing fancy. And this, you can see all the seams that they sewed in there. It's not really made to be... Like worn more. as like a show-off piece or anything. It's this just is almost more like a three-in-one jacket, like yeah. a real three-in-one type deal. Yeah, so he can like, if he's drilling holes or whatever, he can take that jacket off. That's got, it's uh, Gore-Tex, right? Yeah, it's some type of material that is, feels like Gore-Tex. It's like that wind stop. Yeah, it's like a wind stop um, material. So he can be out drilling holes and, you know, not overheat or whatever. He can unzip yeah. it and then toss his jacket back on when he's done. So that, yeah. that's kind of nice to have. Yeah. Um, 
Or if you, like, I don't even wear mine. I just put a hoodie on underneath and nice. it does the same type of thing, but I don't have the wind protection with the hoodie, but mm. works all right. The cuffs are a little bit different. Mine are slightly modified, but Josh's has a nice, uh, it's actually a, like a silky material like that's really comfortable around your wrist when you cinch it down nice and tight. And mine is kind of just the same material as the jacket. And I actually had to cut the strap off um, because I, I don't use it, so it was just in the way. Um, but not that that's a good or a bad thing. I just, mm -hmm. not for me, I didn't really want it. So, but I do like those wrists on that a lot better. Um, Cause my other striker jacket, I have the, I can't remember what, it's a, it's a um, lower end model one and the sleeves are the same and yeah. the hood's the same. And I like that. Um, I do have a little like stowaway pocket on the, on yeah. the arm, which yeah, mine doesn't have that. That doesn't have that. Also, the um, the uh, liner has a stowaway pocket on the arm. Yeah. yeah, those are good to put like your license in too. Like you just yeah. have it right there. A couple stogies if a you have stogies, to. Couple stogies, yeah. <laughs> but that's I think the really only difference is is probably the cuffs are a bit different. Yeah. There's a couple extra pockets on here, which yeah. I don't know if there's so many pockets on. That yeah, there's so many places in this jacket. Stuff. So much storage and things. That you don't probably need the extra couple. It wouldn't be like, I don't know if it would, for me, it wouldn't be like a deciding factor no. on one or the other. Um, but the ja the inside jacket is is, is way good. nicer. Like, like you could, I could, you could wear probably that if work. it was <laughs> yeah if it was probably for like an ice fishing application if it was in like the high 30s you could just wear this yeah. out on the ice and if you threw something on underneath it i just have a long sleeve carhartt shirt or warden shirt yeah. <laughs> I'm on underneath and uh and i'm i'm warm but you could probably be warmer if you layered correctly yeah yeah that's what i do with mine i just layer up one thing we did notice was my jacket was heavier than josh's yes, with, it, with the liner was, with the liner removed liner just, just the shell itself yeah. was lighter for some reason. Yeah, I think, I think, does it, it feels like mine probably has more insulation. Well, is yeah, it I think thicker? it has more insulation. Yeah, so whatever they put in here for the float material or the, the quilting material in there is a little bit thicker in this jacket. Um, and for me, with that, with that insert that I had, it kind of felt bulky, so that's why I removed it. But, yeah. uh, I could have gone to probably a size up and it would have been a little bit more comfortable. They're both waterproof, they're both windproof, both super comfortable and warm. I think Stryker kind of goes for not just, they kind of market towards not just the ice fishing crowd, but they've always, they say like uh, cold weather gear for fishing. So like trolling or spring and uh, fall bass fishing and, yep. and whatnot. Yes, Stryker has a whole line of, of uh, fishing gear, so like um bibs and rain jackets and stuff and josh is planning on using mm. his i'm going to use mine in the spring when spring. we go up to rangely and stuff because it's usually not very <laughs> cold very good weather and it's usually pretty cold so uh not that i mean you can do this with this too but yeah. they have a whole lineup of other stuff too they have things, jackets right. and goats and bibs and boots and everything else so yeah. it might be more of a, a one-stop shop as far as cold yeah. weather fishing Josh hasn't had his too long, so yeah. we he hasn't been in like downpouring rain yet. Right, but <laughs> so I don't know. I know I've stayed completely dry in this jacket. I've never wet through with this jacket, and they feel like they're pretty it's damn similar material. Yeah. So I assume it's going to be good. Striker makes a really yeah. good uh, jacket. So we'll do another review in a year, two yeah. years, three years on on this. Yeah, and let you know if it's good or bad. Yeah. Anyways, there's a little review for you guys if you want to check out a uh, ice fishing jacket and you were unsure what to get and you were looking at either one of these. Hope this video helps out. Subscribe, like it. Catch you guys next time. Look who finally decided to crawl out of bed. Well, you haven't. <laughs> well, you haven't missed much.